it is here. We officially have a new beta patch in Brotato as of yesterday, giving us six awesome new potatoes to slay aliens with. And I'm really excited to talk about them, show them off and all that great stuff. If you just want to see the new characters, don't worry. We're going to start the video off doing nothing but showing the new characters with timestamps in the description below. So without further ado, here's the apprentice. Here is the cryptid. One of the characters I'm most excited for, the fisherman. Plus he has an awesome hat. Next up, the golem. Next, we have the king. And last of the six, we have a renegade, one of the more challenging but interesting characters. In addition, they've added a ton of new items, which we will show as we discover them. And something I haven't seen a lot of other people talking about, but I'm really excited about, they added the ability to go into endless mode after a normal run. So if you're like me and you keep forgetting to turn on endless mode as you finish up a wave, you can now go ahead and go into endless. And when you get to wave 20, you can make the decision. So if you don't turn on endless mode, you have a busted run, you can go ahead and uh, just go straight into endless. So uh, we'll be showing that off as well. In addition, I'm gonna show you and talk about the easiest ways to unlock all these new achievements so you can get these new characters up and running as soon as possible. Plus, at the end of the video, I'll be showing off an abbreviated run where we unlock all six of the new characters in one single run, though of course you can unlock them individually if you so choose. If you are wondering and how you can enter the beta patch because this patch is not live, in Steam, click on Brotato in your game's library, right click, go to properties, you should be able to click on beta, Click the check mark the box that says enter into beta patches, which will allow you to get these characters early. Although do keep in mind that there will be uh, many changes likely uh, to these characters when the patch does go live. So do not forget that. Now let's go ahead and dive into some of my thoughts on the characters. Well, I suppose it's good to have a potato character that levels up with you who doesn't like becoming an apprentice to a master. Uh, really excited for this character. I don't know if this is going to be an amazing, you know, endless mode character or anything, but this is going to absolutely, I think, be a very strong character uh, in the normal version of the game. A very offensive focused character where you essentially scale uh, but you also don't scale your HP, so a little bit less durable than some other characters. But I know, uh, for example, uh, getting one free range damage is going to be an absolutely busted uh, range style character, and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. A uh, nice challenging character, so really excited for uh, uh, Apprentice. Next up, we'll look at the Cryptoid. Um, so I'm really excited to see this character just in general, right, because it's another uh, tree character, and I think the tree mechanic is a ton of fun. Obviously, uh, you're going to be healing off HP regen, um, but it's nice because you basically get HP region off the trees, you get harvesting off the trees. Now that's going to be a lot of fun in addition to that attack speed into the end of the wave when you dodge. So you're definitely like a tree uh, dodging style build. I think it's going to be a pretty fun uh, and strong character, but again, not another endless mode uh, type character. So really excited to do this. The big challenge with, with Crypta is going to be not accidentally killing your trees. At least that's my initial thoughts, but excited to try this one out. Fisherman, I think Fisherman's absolutely going to be not so strong. You know, I haven't played with uh, Fisherman yet, but being able to buy a bait every single shop. This is really going to be a risk or reward character where I think you're really going to see yourself playing the map with those really challenging lamprey enemy types that spawn uh, when you purchase a bait. But hey, I am down to go fish. You should be too. I think it's going to be really fun, really strong character, at least for uh, the first 20 waves. I do think this character will be a little bit uh, modified and endless in the sense that that material drop is going to stop a lot of the good strategies from working. But I think there's potential here uh, for this to be a good endless mode character. We we'll really have to see how this works out. Functions like farmer, we can keep our harvesting up even in endless. You know, I think it could be decent, but hard to say. We'll exactly have to think about how that scaling ends up working. For example, does that harvest, is that static uh, in the sense you have that harvesting always on your character sheet? Is it going to be affected by the negative reduction at 10% per wave in endless mode? Hard to say, uh, but I think you could potentially really get this character rolling, especially with some hunting trophies in endless. So We'll see how this one works out. The Golem, this is a really interesting character because you essentially get a ton of max HP, a ton of different bonuses, but you can't heal. So I think it's really gonna prioritize good play, but if you're able to do no hit runs, things like that, I think this character will be really, really powerful. The only challenge with this character is, you know, getting a ton of max HP and then getting yourself down to under 50%. I think that's the key with this character is you get the attack speed bonus as well as a speed bonus under 50% health. So uh, being able to get under that without taking too much damage, maybe a little bit, a little bit challenging. I do think this is going to be a relatively strong character, so I'm excited to play with Golem quite a bit. Uh, next up is King. Now, I think King is going to be a really interesting character. I do think this character will be really, really powerful. Uh, the notable advantage of King is you get 25% damage for every tier 4 uh, red or legendary, however you want to call it, weapon that you have, as well as 25% attack speed and 5 max HP. This is really, really powerful at the end of the game. Uh, obviously, that's going to be 150% damage, 150% attack speed, as well as, you know, 30 health, which isn't amazing, but still not a terrible bonus. That attack speed and damage bonus is huge. I think going to be a really, really fun and, and good in taking this character into endless mode. Minus 50% damage and minus 50% attack speed for every tier weapon you have. I don't think that's going to be a huge penalty. And part of the reason why I think this character is going to be relatively strong, you know, as Knight shows us, we can just skip the white tier and be okay. I mean, roll with a couple blue weapons uh, to start things off and then just 
uh, kind of skip that white tier. Definitely possible in Rotato. Um, and obviously, once we start getting those legendary red weapons online, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, the one thing that I do uh, think will be a little challenging is it's minus two max HP per every different tier one item that we have. So every single white item that we pick up is going to give us uh, minus two max HP. Initially, I do think that's going to be a penalty that we can work around without too much difficulty. But we also want to be careful, right? Isn't if we take a bunch of white items early. Uh, these are items, not weapons. You know, we could find ourselves with like four health. So I think we will have to be somewhat careful uh, there. The good thing is it's every different tier one item. So I imagine, again, I haven't tested this the way this works. Usually, you know, if we pick up, uh, you know, one coffee, if we pick up a second coffee, we wouldn't incur a second two max HP penalty. Last up is the most interesting character of the bunch, I think, which is Renegade. Extra projectiles, which is insanely powerful, uh, really opens up a lot of weapons that are not necessarily good. Otherwise, makes shotguns immediately super powerful. But even things like SMGs, uh, are going to have way, way more uh, clear. And I also think things like shredders are going to be really good. Where projectiles explode on hip and we get multiple projectiles. So I do think Renegade is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, plus 10% damage for every different tier one item you have. Um, but you can't quit melee weapons. And more importantly, you get some huge uh, negative damage bonuses. So for example, damage modifications are reduced by 80% minus 50% accuracy. And I believe this is the only character that starts uh, with an accuracy penalty. So we're going to have to exactly see how that works. And I imagine that's why you can't start with melee weapons on this character because accuracy of melee weapons probably wouldn't work too, too well together. Now, the other big thing is minus 400% damage. Now, the one key interaction I've already noticed on this character is that minus 400% damage uh, is uh, modified by that 80% in damage reduction. So uh, we'll go ahead and quickly show uh, that here. So here we are in the character street sheet just to kind of illustrate what I was talking about. You see we have negative 400% damage, but it says damage modifications are reduced by 80%. So you do only start with negative 80% damage. And obviously you get that 10% damage uh, from the SMG, which is only 2% damage, you know, because of that 80% reduction. You can see as we buy a bag here, which is just a white item that goes down to uh, negative 75%. So it remains to be seen. Again, we'll buy a different white item here, at pistol. Um, and that obviously doesn't trigger it. So it looks like it is in fact uh, items only. So um, we'll be interesting to see how exactly this works. Is this character good or is it bad? I'm actually not a thousand percent sure. I'm going to be really excited to uh, test this one out. Now let's quickly talk about the easiest way to unlock all of these characters. There are six achievements, uh, each one unlocking a corresponding character. They are finish a wave with uh, 10 or more living trees. Obviously, we probably want to use Explorer for that. Uh, reach level 20, get two bait during a run, uh, finish a wave with one HP, which is actually not hard to do. Just do that on level one. Get three tier four weapons during a run. Notably, they can all be the same weapon. Uh, and get 10 different tier one items, which is pretty easy unlocking any character. Uh, I was actually unable to lock all six achievements in one single uh, run with Explore, and I'll show that off here. But I'm just gonna quickly run through if you don't wanna worry about that. I do think that's probably the most efficient way to get all of them. But here is be how I would get them all one by one. Uh, the first one, uh, finish a wave with 10 or more living trees, uh, which unlocks the cryptid. That's not super difficult. Just pick or pick up every tree you can. Uh, and the key is don't kill your trees, right? Like let, it, let them spawn, make sure you don't mow them all down. You should get this one pretty easily. Reach level 20, super, super easy. Most characters in the game do reach level 20 by the end of the game. Uh, naturally, if not, you can also do that in Endless. Just pick up a Peacock or um, something like that, an XP item. If you see it, if not, don't sweat about it. You'll still probably hit level 20, but obviously just do a run, pick up one of those items or use Mutant, which is a very easy way to do it. So the next one is getting two baits, uh, two of the bait items during a run. That unlocks Fisherman, which is obviously a really fun character. This is pretty easy to unlock. You can probably get this on most characters. If you want like just an easy way to get one, um, you know, go ahead and pick Loud. The reason being Loud starts with the damage tag. The item bait also has a damage tag, but allowed to get a lot of items, a lot of money, a lot of resources. So this is a very efficient way uh, to get bait to unlock that fisherman. Again, with loud sharing that damage tag. Finish wave with one HP, kind of talked about that already. Really just start with any character. And I would try to get that on level one on the very first wave. Remember, you don't have to complete a wave uh, to get that achievement. Um, simply just start with one H or start with normal run, run to the enemies at the start. It's not super challenging. Finish the very first wave with one HP, get that and uh, move on. Get tier three, four weapons during a run. Again, I got this uh, doing all these achievements at once with Explore. Again, pretty easy. Knight would be super easy with this, as would be Loud or Farmer, really any uh, economic character. Most runs you're gonna, I'd say half runs, you're gonna need about uh, three legendary, three red, tier four items. Shouldn't be super hard for most players. And lastly, get 10 different tier one items. This again is not a super challenging one. Tier one items, not weapons. So just get 10 different items. I think most players and most playthroughs uh, will unlock all those. So anyway, that's a quick, showcase of all the characters i am going to quickly talk about one really cool item and we'll go ahead and run through that now just because i'm really excited to break this item now there's a lot of cool items in the game and i'm still discovering them but there's one really neat one i found a very quickly called pocket factory which is two engineering but whenever you kill a tree you spawn a turret uh and i just want to quickly show off how this works i think it's actually pretty nuts uh especially on a character like 
uh, and a character like Explorer. But I think this has a lot of impact The Farmer, uh, other characters that rely on luck. This is really gonna open up a ton of build diversity uh, as we can see here on wave 19 with, um, you know, an explorer that has all these trees spawning. You're just able to get, look at this, so many turrets out in the map and we have no other uh, turret items. So this is definitely gonna be an item I'm excited to break. But you can see just flooding the map with turrets and we're not even an engineer. Every time we kill a tree, uh, another turret spawns. So do you think there's gonna be a lot of really, really fun things uh, that we can do with this? And I know I'm kind of just recklessly running into enemies, but on some maps with some good tree spawns, I've got like 30 turrets out in the map. So I'm really excited to see how we can break this item open. And also notably, there is one really cool feature that I saw here as well, which is we can now click endless. Uh, we are at wave 20 and go straight into endless mode, which is pretty neat uh, as this run was not uh, designed to go into endless. So it looks like if you do forget, uh, you can now go ahead and turn on endless, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, I do know that would have saved a couple of my runs. I definitely have a bad habit of forgetting to turn on endless when I move from one, uh, one style of the game to the other. And now we're back to the start. We're going to attempt to unlock five of the new characters in one run. Uh, and this time we are, of course, going to just be playing deer, uh, tier one. But I think we'll go ahead and attempt to unlock uh, five separate characters uh, in one fell swoop. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this one HP character in the very first wave. Hopefully our natural HP regen doesn't trigger. So there we go. Uh, just got reckless. And just picked up scavenger. All right, there we go. Just got forced on wave nine. Here we go, buying our first bait. Notably, Clover is back in the game. Here we go, we got Bird Joyce, three tier four weapons at once. Here we go, we got Student, level 20 on deck, just need two baits. Here we go, one more bait, and that is all six achievements in one run. So there we have it, there is our new character showcase. I don't know about you, but I am incredibly stoked to get started, and rest assured, I will be pumping out content around these new characters and items uh, featuring all sorts of fun ways to break them. Uh, drop me a comment, which character are you most excited for or which character or item do you wanna see me break? And perhaps I'll make it a priority. Uh, but anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with content on deck. Take care and talk soon.